Hey everybody, it's Flare31 here. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we finished up Child Link, Young Link, and then we uh, left that behind to go to Adult Link. And we started on the uh, the Shadow Temple. And then we decided to bail on the Shadow Temple, which might have seemed weird. And we came here to the Lost Woods. So in this episode, let's uh, go ahead and head back down this way. Or actually, not this way. Wrong way to head down. Actually, that, that was the right way to head down. I do want to remove my hover boots, though. Get these out of here. Um, actually, though, I do need it to be night. Before we head down there. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Oh my god. I wasn't close enough to him. My bad. Oh! I got not I got uh pushed back from hitting the wall far enough to have that happen to me. Annoying. Oh my god. That is very annoying. You come all the way over here. Long shot that ladder successfully. Don't be like me. Having to deal with this guy. For basically no reason. So, down here, there's actually a grotto. A fairy's fountain, too. If you're running low on fairies, now's a chance to get some, especially for uh, the Shadow Temple. Now, another reason that we're down here is there's actually a gold sculpture up here. So let's go ahead and backtrack across here. It's so much easier to jump across these. <laughs> Then uh, there's this boulder here that we want to look at. I don't know why I like pause when I get down here. Deku nuts. Huh. Interesting. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku Nuts, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Well, I mean, heck yeah. 40. So that wasn't the last Deku Nut upgrade last time. Arrows, 30 pieces, 70 rupees. No. What is this? I'm just going to assume it's Song of Storms. Now this is going to be the one time it was Song Song. Oh my god, it was the only time. The one time. Probably a big fairy, right? It was a big fairy. Wow. That's a big fairy.
All right, great. Um, so this is the, um, no wait. Yeah, yeah, no, this is the, uh, the secret forest meadow that we were just in. We want to go this way. And this way. And then this way. To make it to the forest stage area. And looky here. Our plant grew. And it leads us right to... The gold sculptula. Yeah, that's all the game in there for. So... We'll go this way. Get, go this way, which will put us back at uh, Kokiri Forest. Uh, let's go this way. And you can see there's another gold sculpture over here. Yoink. Oh my god, I missed it twice. Oh my god. What, how does that... How does that not hit, bro? <laughs> Dumb. It's dumb. Anyway, we also have this other bean plant that we uh, planted. Kind of takes us all over the place. It literally takes us all over, but more importantly, it takes us to these rupees. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty useless bean plant. Fun funnily enough, the bean plants definitely are not required. Like, most of them are not required. If not any of them. We're gonna play Sun Song. Not because we want it to be day, but because it brings it back up here. So we can go back to the Lost Woods easier. Yeah, <laughs> a fairy? We know what that means. There's a person here. So, you might not remember this, but... Uh, Way back when, we were in the middle of doing a uh, a trade quest as Adult Link, and um, we were supposed to be bringing this odd potion over to the uh, the like really weird looking guy that is normally outside of Kakariko, uh, like on that tree, and he was here, and we traded Kojiro, the the chicken, the Kuko, into him. And, um, yeah, we, we ended up getting the, the odd potion and they told us to bring it back to him to help him out. He's not here anymore. Pretty weird, right? Hi. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stealthos. Everybody. Stealthos. So he's not here anymore. anymore. Uh, excuse me? Excuse the hell out of me? Creepy child. Well, I had this potion for him, I'm not supposed to give him. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. 
Only his saw is left, hee <laughs> hee. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Y yeah, yes, ma'am. You returned the odd potion and got the poacher's saw. The young punk guy must have left this behind. <laughs> Are you going to be two? <laughs> Creepy child. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, the uh, probably one of the creepiest things in the game. Just <laughs> whatever the hell is going on here. I do want to warn you though. The poacher saw. It um is the root of a uh, of a glitch within the game. Where if you get the poacher saw before you get the forest stage uh, Deku nuts upgrade with the um, um, what was it the monster mask or something the the gray one I don't remember exactly what's called this exact moment but anyway if you don't get that before you get the poacher saw the poacher saw actually for some programming reason. Uh, makes it so you can no longer get that uh, that upgrade at the forest stage. So make sure you get that before you do this. <laughs> You've been warned. So we have a poacher saw. What do you think we should be doing with the poacher saw? I don't know. We have our bean plant, though. The bean plant lets us get to this bridge, which is actually really nice. It's a nice shortcut. Everyone field. Um. Oh, wait, we're adult. We don't need to be walking around like some schmucks. Forget that. Hey there, Epona. No. Back up. And then let's go this way. Yay! All right, our destination now is Lon Lon Ranch, actually, believe it or not. Oh, look how whipped you are. Hi there, how are you? I am Mingo. I feel so honored to be allowed to work here. What a loser. Oh, hi Milan. Thank you very much for the other day. I haven't even asked you your name yet. Really? Link? That's what I thought. You're the fairy boy from the forest. That was years ago. Do you remember me? You do? I was sure it was you because Epona remembered you. Oh, I have to tell you about Mr. Ingo. He was afraid that the evil king might find out that Epona had been taken away. It really upset him. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being a normal, nice person. Now my dad is coming back. I can't believe it, but peace is returning to this ranch. It's all because of you. I owe, I owe you so much. Thank you, thank you, Link. The opponent looks great. It looks like you were able to tame her, too. How about trying your skill with the opponent on an obstacle course? I'll time you for two laps. That's pretty challenging. If you miss jumping a fence in the proper order, you'll fail. How about it? Do you want to try? Let's go. The current record is 50 seconds. First, try to beat this record. 
If you can beat the record, I'll give you a present. Give it your best shot, okay? Alright, let's get started. Uh, this, uh, this thing that we're about to do, it's not required. And if you're having trouble with it, then, um, keep that in mind, because it's not required. <laughs> but it, uh... is pretty challenging. Um, you just have to make sure that you're like taking tight-ish lines. And we do have to get two laps. Yeah. And then you also really want to uh, go at these fences at the uh, a direct angle. As much of a direct angle as you can get. I don't think 50 seconds counts. I think I was a tiny bit too slow. Wow, great. Your time was 50 seconds. You and opponent are a great team. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, let's do it again. Oh, man, two seconds to spare. You do have to jump over every single little fence, too. You can't just, like, go around them. You did it! 48 seconds is the new course record. I have to give you a present to commemorate your new record. The present is a little too heavy to give to you here, so... I'll have it delivered to your house. But you can't wait to see it. Hee <laughs> hee. What do you mean it's too heavy to give to me here? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Okay, well, um... No, no, I do not want to do it again. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. Evil. Evil. Woman. No longer a child. Alright, let's get out of here. It is kind of cool to see uh, the aftermath, though, of... Um dealing with the whole opponent situation. I need to go this way. I was like starting to meander into the wrong direction. Yeah. So we're going to be going over to um, Druda Valley again. No Guru to Valley music, sad. It turned nighttime at well, the perfect time. And look at this, the bridge is fixed. Hey, I heard you saved my men. When they returned, we built this bridge. Look at this. Isn't it a fine bridge? They may be wimpy carpenters, but once they all got together, they got the job done. Indeed. Alright, um... Uh, I'm gonna do... They're gonna put a pony right here. Then we're going to go into the tent. Man, all the carpenters are in here. <laughs> the leader of the gang of thieves is Naburu. She is ex experimenting and brainwashing many people at the ruins in the desert. <laughs> what? Where'd you get that info from? When Naburu was a lone wolf thief, she never stole from the weak, but... Now Naburu's Game of Thieves stands for cruelty and br brutality. She claims to be a chivalrous robber, but no way. 
In Gerudo society, those who have great skill in horseback riding and archery are well respected. How about trying horseback archery at the Gerudo's fortress? If you have a horse, a Gerudo from the fortress will set up your challenge. Now that we're all back together, building a bridge over the valley was a piece of cake. I'm the wandering, running man. I've run all over this land in search of the true competitive spirit. I beat all my challengers, man and beast. You're an athletic guy, and you look like you might have a true killer instinct, too. Now that the bridge over Garuda Valley is complete, I'm looking for a challenger to have a commemorative race against. Best time to go from here to the bridge in the Lost Woods was 2 minutes 38 seconds. That's my record. Will you challenge my record? Yes. Excellent, then. You go first. I'll give you a head start. Now, go ahead. Uh, go! So this is why I set up a pony here. A warp. If you try to warp, it will cast cheating. But... We can use a pona. That doesn't count as cheating. Uh, getting over this. Getting over this is the hardest part. <laughs> go, opponent, go. And we do need to make it to the Lost Woods, which we obviously... Uh, Need to go through Kokiri Forest to get to. Man, it's already been a minute. Can't take opponent in here. Huff, puff, puff. Huff. <laughs> you did quite well. But you couldn't beat me. Your time was a minute 17 seconds. But I just beat you by one second. <laughs> You'll have to challenge me again sometime. <laughs> Goodbye then. Yeah, no matter what you do here, he'll always beat you by one second. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> um, I actually don't think that there's any purpose to that other than just the event of it happening. And then it just being like, well, you lost. However, it does give us a good excuse, though. To go to our house and see what Milan gave us, because evidently it was too big to give to us. <laughs> right then and there. Oh my god. I like how this is still my house. Like, they haven't, like, sold it off. They're like, oh, he forfeited his property. I mean, he's gone missing for seven years. Yeah, the the big present that was too heavy to give to us is a cow. It's certainly something. You can uh you can play a bonus song to get milk from the cow in your house if you want to. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Lynx records, spider squashed 84, largest fish caught 20 pounds. Marathon time, a minute 17. I guess the marathon, which is the uh, the race against the running man, c gets tracked here also. Horse race time, 48 seconds. Oh yeah, for uh, Milan. And then horseback archery, we haven't done yet. 
Zero points. Yeah, it's a it's a ridiculous reward. <laughs> but it is technically a permanent upgrade, if you will, to to something. So I, I consider it part of 100%. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Stop wasting time with Link's house. Um, climb onto you. Get going again. Um, so while we're in Hy Hyrule Field, we're going to go ahead and pick up some of the other things that we uh, haven't yet picked up yet. And what do I mean by that? I mean, of course, the big pose. There's still some big pose out there we have yet, yet to grab. Um, it's like over here. I believe. It's like here. It's not here. Where is it? There's, I think, one right here. Yeah. And the cuttable grass. Like, scraping my brain to remember where these are. Actually, I don't even think we need to get this out. I think we just talked to it. Yeah. You defeat Poe the ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? Yes. You caught a big po. No. Started going a little bit too fast. All right, we're going to go back here. And then we're gonna head right through here. Ooh, I'm two for two. Yeah, let's, let's catch it. Then we're going to go up here. Why can't you jump over that? Why are you like this? Yeah, right, let's go through here. And our other big po is actually between the wall right here and this tree. Ooh, three for three. I'm on doing good today on that. Of course, these ones are also pretty easy to do compared to some of the other ones. Yes. All right, now we're full up on big pose again because we only have three bottles. So we're gonna head over to the market. sell them. Oh, you bought a Brought, I always say bought. You brought a pot today. Hmm. 
Very interesting. This is a big bow. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on your card. Alright, let's just sell all these. <laughs> Some of these text boxes you can't, like, speed up. Let me talk to you. There we go. Last po. Okay. Done deal there. Sold all of our pose, big pose. Hop back on a uh, on a pona here. And what we want to do is we want to line up here. like right next to the sign, right next to the fork in the road. Big O. And, um... Actually, we're gonna go ahead and that went immediately. Instead of, uh... Waiting. To get two more. Better camera angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred thousand points. Be very happy. Over here, you see this, uh, this tree over here, this lone tree by its all by its lonesome. There's a grotto under it, underneath it, if you hit the ground in the right spot. This is certainly interesting looking. Um, I guess we're going to pull out the bow and arrow. And look at that, there's a piece of heart down there. We dive. This is the only thing in the game that you need the gold heart scale. Gold heart scale, the gold scale for. It's just this one piece of heart. I keep wanting to press A to swim. <laughs> You can feel the rumblies here too to let you like clue you in on the fact that there's something there. That moonrise though. So pretty. Anyway, uh, right next to this tree that we just opened the grotto for, there's actually another big po. Wrong side. Oh my god, it was this bush. It's this one right here. Hey! 
Boom. I thought I was going crazy for a second. Alright, back on we go. Sucked a little bit more than I thought it would. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to spawn quite that fast. This is like... <laughs> this is like way easier going this way. Wow. Who would have thunk it? Definitely not me. Now, down here. Yeah, there's one one po um on like this fork in the road. It's in a, like a really awkward spot. But if you get going this way, it's like way easier. And there we go. Um, grab that. And you might have noticed that there's a little circle of rocks over here. Bam. And bam. There's actually a grotto underneath it that you can hammer open. Interesting webs, huh? Just go ahead and take out Din's fire. Din's fire makes quick work of that. There's a cow here for some reason. But more importantly, there is a gold sculch up here. I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah, definitely not. Um, I should have taken the pony up here. Oh well. Let's uh All for a Pona. We're gonna want a Pona while we're doing that. Oh, <laughs> Render distance, kind of weird. All right, here we go. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but you can actually, when the bridge is broken, you can jump over it with the bono. You get kind of a cool little scene.
get off the planet real quick. So something that I didn't do last time that we were here is present the poacher saw to the carpenter, the lead carpenter. Hey, that saw, it's mine. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well. My Bigoron tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. Your coming here is great timing. Will you give me, give me my saw? Sure. Good kid. Thanks. I'm sorry that I can't give you something that's good in return, but take this anyway. Trade the poacher's saw for a broken Goron sword. Visit Bigoron to get it repaired. Interesting. Sure is interesting, huh? So while we're here... You might have noticed that there is that silver-looking boulder down there. And if you jump down here, you might also have noticed that Link is wearing the new silver gauntlets that we got. And so with the silver gauntlets, you can actually pick up the boulders, the silver boulders, and throw them. And there happens to be a grotto under this one. Um, I don't think it's worth it. Anyway, that grows there. There's nothing important inside of it, but... But regardless... Uh-oh, Link. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna regret that. <laughs> you might remember that we planted this bean down here. And look at this. There's actually a heart piece over here behind the waterfall. You don't actually need the bean plant to get here. You can just climb the ladder. But, you know, it happens. Unfortunately, that bean plant does not take you uh, all the way back up to the top. So, I'm going to have to go around again to get back up. Alright, into Gerudo Valley we go. Or into Gerudo Fortress, I should say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Epona, for some reason, can't go upstairs. So, we have to take her around town. Yeah. We're gonna park her right here. Here's a training ground. Only registered members are allowed. You might have remembered that from earlier. This is the Gerudo's training ground. Membership card verified. One try for 10 rupees. Try. Alright, I'll take your 10 rupees. Give it your best shot. And the gates open. And into Gerudo training ground we go. But it will have to wait for the next episode. So, if you like the video, please hit like. If you like the video and you want to see more, because you're subscribing. And if you dislike the video, then hit dislike. Otherwise, I'll see everyone next time.